first reading this morning, the Old Testament reading, comes from Ezekiel 17. Thus says the Lord God, I myself will take a spring from the lofty top of the cedar and will set it out. I will break off from the topmost of its young twigs a tender one, and I myself will plant it on high on a high and lofty mountain. On the mountain height of Israel will I plant it, and it may bear branches and produce fruit and become a noble cedar. And under it will dwell every kind of bird. In the shade of its branches, birds of every sort will nest. And all the trees of the field shall know that I am the Lord. I bring low the high tree and make high the low tree, dry up the cream tree and make the dry tree flourish. I am the Lord. I have spoken and I will do it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading is from 2 Corinthians chapter 5. We know that if the tent, which is our earthly home, is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For in this tent we groan, longing to put on our heaven, heavenly dwelling, if indeed by putting it on we may not be found naked. For while we are still in this tent, we groan, being burdened, not that we would be unclothed, but that we would be further clothed, so that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life. He who has prepared us for this very thing is God, who has given us the Spirit as a guarantee. So we are always of good courage. We know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Yes. We are of good courage, and we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. So whether we are at home or away, we make it our aim to please Him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may receive what is due for what he has done in the body, whether good or evil. Therefore, knowing the fear of the Lord, we persuade others. Hope what we are is known to God, and I hope it is known also to your conscience. We are not commending ourselves to you again, but giving you cause to boast about us, so that you may be able to answer those who boast about outward appearance, and not about what is in the heart. For if we are beside ourselves, it is, it is for God. If we are in our right mind, it is for you. For the love of Christ controls us, because we've concluded this, that one has died for all, therefore all have died, and he died for all, that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. From now on, therefore, we regard no one according to the flesh. Even though we once regarded Christ according to the flesh, we regard him thus no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We stand for the Hallelujah verse and the Holy Gospel. according to St. Mark, the fourth chapter. Glory to you, o Lord. Beginning at verse 26. Jesus said, The kingdom of God is as if a man should scatter seed on the ground. He rises, he sleeps and rises night and day, and the seed sprouts and grows, he knows not how. The earth 
produces by itself first the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. But when the grain is ripe, at once he puts in the sickle, because the harvest has come. And he said, With what can we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable shall we use for it? It is like a grain of mustard seed, which, when sown on the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds on earth. Yet when it is sown, it grows up and becomes larger than all the garden plants and puts out large branches, so that the birds of the air can make nests in its shade. With many such parables he spoke the word to them as they were able to hear it. He did not speak to them without a parable, but privately to his own disciples he explained everything. This is the Gospel of the Lord. be seated we sing hymn 742 for me to live as Jesus <laughs> 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 